Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Dub here. Today I'm going to be making a video about how I upscale my photos and videos using a free software. This has been a highly requested video for around two years now and I've never gotten into it. So here we are today. Everything in this video that will be shown is free and without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first place you're going to want to head to is this page. This is the GitHub page for Chainer, which is the software we're going to be using today as our upscaler. So this is also a node based image processing GUI, which means that it's similar to programs like DaVinci Resolve and Blender. To download it, go ahead on this page and scroll down to releases. The latest will be listed right here. Click on this. It'll take you to this page. Scroll down right here, and these will be all the different download links. If you want a Windows setup, you can click here. Same thing for Mac and Linux. But me personally, I like to use the portable version, which means that if I want to use Chainer with all of the assets that I'm going to show you how to download in this video today on a different computer, you can do so. So go ahead and click on whichever version you want. For me, I'm going to be downloading this version right here. So after you download the software, whether through a installer or the portable option like I have here, you might need to extract the folder like I have on my desktop and then you have to open it here and then from here what you can do is you will need to run the program one time to create the files necessary for the setup and then after that we will come back and do the rest of the setup needed so go ahead and just double click the exe right here and now the application is going to start its setup process all right, so now that you're done with the installation, you will be greeted with a screen like this. Now, don't get overwhelmed. I'm going to hold your hand and teach you how to do everything. So first, you're going to see this little button right here, manage dependencies. Click on that. And everything you see here is needed for the AI models to run. So all you're going to do is click install all packages and wait for it to finish. And if for some reason clicking install all packages keeps crashing you or it doesn't progress the progress bar at all, go ahead and install them individually by clicking all three of the buttons here. And once all of the dependency packages have downloaded, you can go ahead and close it here and you can completely close out of the program. Once you're out of Chainer, you will see that everything has been set up and installed. So now we're going to do one more piece of setup before we start getting the different models. So right here in my portable Chainer install, you can do this anywhere on your computer that you will not be moving. But for me, since it's portable, I like to keep it all in one folder to be organized. So create a new folder and call it whatever you want. For me, I'm going to call it Dubify and go ahead and open this and create two more folders it will be used later in this video. The first folder should be named presets and the second folder should be named models. So we will put all of our models, which are basically different AI presets into here. And then the presets folder we will use for our video or photo presets. So then we don't have to create one each time we want to upscale a video or photo. So now let's go over to the model website and I will show you how to download one. So the link to this website will be down in the description alongside everything I use in this video. And this is where you can search for AI models across the internet. They are basically presets that are trained to upscale and fix different types of problems found in different kinds of media. So that ranges from cartoons to real life to anime to manga, whichever you're looking for. This website will most likely have everything you need. So you can scroll through and look and sort by different tags. But what I'm going to show how to do today is how to upscale anime video and photo. I'm going to show you guys my preferred model that I like to use for anime video. And then later in the video, I'll show you how to get the photo as well. So right now we can go to anime sharp and then there will be all these different versions click on the esr gan 4x right here and then click at the top right download this will take you to a mega folder so there are different options right here a pth and cnn and an onyx for me my personal preference is to use the dot pth files so go ahead and click on this click download and then once it asks you where you want to save it to, save it to the models folder that you made. So now that we have downloaded the first model, now we're going to download the second model that I like to use for photos and manga. So you're going to go to the search bar and then type in real ESR again, 6B. And then you should see this one by Zintao. So go ahead and click on it and then click on download at the top right. So now that you have downloaded both of the models, you should see them right here in your models folder. If they're not here and in your downloads, make sure you move them in here. It will 
be important for a later step in this video. Now you're gonna wanna go ahead and go back to the Chainer folder and then reopen Chainer. So now that Chainer is open, I'm going to show you guys how to create a preset for both video and photo. So every time you wanna upscale a video or a photo, you'll be able to just open it and then instantly start. It will take different setups, so there will be two different parts in this video. I will timestamp them separately if you're looking for one or the other. But if you wanna have both set up, just follow along and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So to get started, what we're gonna wanna do is right click anywhere on these dots right here. This will be a search bar for all of the different notes that we can add here. So first go ahead and type in a load image or as you see right here, you can click here and you can zoom out with the mouse wheel scroll. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Then we're gonna wanna right click and type in load model. And this is where you saw on that mega folder, you can choose different types of AI models. So for me, I like using PyTorch, but if you do some more research, you can also use NCNN or Onyx and see different types of models that only work or are made for specific versions. And some can actually be faster too. But for me, I like using PyTorch, so we're gonna go ahead and stick with this for now. Then you're gonna add a resize, and then you're going to add a text append. Then you're gonna wanna add a view image, and then you wanna add a save image. And then you want to add a upscale image. And you're gonna wanna make sure it's under the PyTorch category, because if you do not have a PyTorch model and the PyTorch upscale image, this will break and not work. So make sure you have the right one selected. They are color coded, so anything PyTorch will be orange. And now all that's left is to connect it all up. So connect the yellow to the image here, and then connect the image to the image here. Collect the image here to both here and here. And then now we'll go over to directory here, the purple, and connect it to the directory on save image right there. And then you'll go here on load model and plug it into model for upscale image. And for text append, we will link the name from the image file as the first part of the text. And then the second text of the file that is upscaled will be the load model. So we plug that in here. And then we plug in the output text into the image name. So this will automatically name our file based on the original file name and the model that was used. And now you have to click on select a model right here. So go to wherever your painter install is located and find the folder you created and then open the models folder. And then this is for photo. So we will be selecting real ESR GAN 4X plus anime 6B and open that. And now the model is loaded into here. So now all you have to do is load in an image to start upscaling. And now before we continue and add an image and load it in here, what I recommend doing is going to file and then you click save as. I recommend saving this to any place on your computer. I recommend the downloads and call it anime photo. Now, once you have done that, go ahead and find the presets folder that you made. Simply drag that model into your presets folder here. And now what we can do is close out of this right here. And now we can add any image we want into here simply by dragging and dropping. So I'm going to drag in an image from the fragrant flower blooms with dignity. It's a great manga. I recommend you check it out. They're also coming out with an anime soon. And now that you have it here, you can see if you zoom in, it is 435 by 1099. And the original image doesn't look bad at all, but it can definitely be upscaled. So now, as you can see at the bottom right under save image, we have a few options here. This is basically our render settings. So it is listed as PNG. You can change it to 16 bit here. If this causes any colors to break, just use 8 bit. But my preferred method is to go down and use JPEG change the quality to 100. And then under the sampling here, this is your choice. If your computer is not that strong, I recommend using 422. But if you want to use 444 for the best quality you can, and I'll show you guys that example right here. So I will use that. And now what you can do is at the top, there's a run button. This is basically to start our render. I'm going to click run. And what this will result in after we click run is our new upscaled image appearing right next to our original image in the file explorer. So I'm going to click run and I will show you guys the result after it's done. Here we are zoomed in on the the original panel right here and if i turn on the layer that has the upscaled panel you should be able to tell a pretty big difference pretty quickly and if i zoom out it really does sharpen everything up and if you want to use this for a manga animation all you'll have to do is clean up some of the weird artifacting that is caused by the ai but other than that it is much easier to work with and animate than the original. All right, so now I will be showing everybody what they have been asking for for the last two years, how I upscale my videos to 4K for free, no topaz, nothing like that. And I'm going to be using the model that we downloaded earlier. It was the Anime 6B from Zintao. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a node tree. It is slightly different from the one before, so just follow along with me. Right click and add a load video. And next we're gonna add a load model, remember, Orange is PyTorch, so we need orange right here. PyTorch load model. Add a resize. What this will do is it will let us 
control the amount of upscaling we want. So if a model is 4x, that means we will multiply our original resolution by four times. So if we have a 1080p, that would multiply it to 8k. But that is too much for a lot of our computers to handle. So we will change this percentage to 50%, which means if it is a 1080p video, it will upscale to 4k. Next, we will add a text depend node down here. And now we will add a upscale image. Remember, get an orange one because this is PyTorch. And then now we will add a view image. This node is especially useful for upscaling videos because you will be able to see the progress of how far the video has been upscaled. And now last but not least, the save video node. And after you have all of this, these are all the nodes you need and it's time to wire it up. So just follow along with me and add the frame image to here, this one to this yellow, and we will add this image to both view image and save video. Now we will add the load model right here to the model of the upscale image. And then we will go to the yellow here for name. We will go to output text and then connect it to the video name and we will change the video directory to the directory of our save video and then now we will change the audio stream in case you have your edit that has audio or whatever you're upscaling that you still need to retain the audio and you will simply plug that into audio stream right here on the save video and for the fps you will also link that with the save video so it will automatically link the original video's fps to the final render and now that you have done that make sure that you have this name right here connected to text B. Now we're gonna add our model. So once again, go to here and click model, add our 4X anime sharp. You can use the other one, but it is much heavier on the PC. So I recommend using the 4X anime sharp. It is very good quality and also it does not take as much resources from your computer while you are rendering. You click that, click open. And then now you can also change the quality, which is right here. So mine is set at 75, but I'm going to change this to hundred. And you can also change it if you need a different codec here, but this is fine for me. And now that you're done, you can go to file and click save as and save it to the same preset folder that you did for the photo preset. For me, I saved it in my downloads folder, the anime video.chn. I'm gonna go to the folder and chainer here, go to presets and drag this file right into here. And now we have them both right here. So if you ever wanna use the photo or the video, all you have to do is go to chainer, go to the folder you created, presets, and then you can double click one of these and then it will take you and open this right here. And now I'm going to be showing you guys an example of a upscale. I'm gonna be going from 1080p using the 4X at 50% to change it to 4K. And using this, you will be able to see the progress. So I will speed up the video so you can actually see the frames changing. There you have it. That's how I upscale my photos and videos. I might make some more videos about some other alternative softwares for people with lower end computers or just different options out there. But for now, this is what I've been using for the last two years. And if you found it helpful, I would appreciate a like and a comment on this video. Let me know how it went for you. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Peace.